Uh, we're heating up the water uh, in the butter together. And uh, it says one teaspoon of sugar. And then a half teaspoon of salt. Because we are going to boil it. Uh, some people say, you know, you have to wait until the butter is, like, completely melted before you turn it up to boiling. Some people say, no, just put it all the way up to boiling. So, again, it's uh, definitely one, this is one of the recipes you kind of just have to figure out exactly what you want. Um, so right now we're using all water. Um, I did recommend you can use half milk. Um, if you do, uh, ha replace half of it with milk. So, uh, like, 113 grams of water, 113 grams of milk, for example. Uh, it will make the uh, make the shell uh, a little a little like a little bit softer. It's going to change it a little bit. Uh, so again, it's um, and it doesn't have to be half and half. It could be uh, three quarters this, uh, one quarter that. Uh, we're getting some steam, so it should be boiling soon. So like I said, this is going to go by really quickly. So I'm going to just uh, quick run through what's about to happen. So I'm going to throw the flour into the boiling water, and it's got to be pretty pretty boiling. Uh, <laughs> almost almost immediately, the dough the dough is going to form, uh, and I'm going to cook it over the uh, uh, the burner for two three minutes just to like try to dry out the dough a little bit. Um, and uh, what's going to happen is like there's uh, one of the ways to know you know you're done. It's you know cooked as much as it's going to cook. There's going to be a film of uh, like dough on the on the bottom of the pan. Uh, again, I'll, it's one of those things I just have to show you. Uh, and uh, so after I get the dough out, I put it into the uh, machine. Uh, we'll pass around the pan, and you can get a look at it. Yeah, that's good. All right. So it's just started to boil. We're gonna throw the uh, flour in, and uh, again, I'm gonna take it off heat. Mix, 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 and then the dough is gonna form. Ready? There's still some dry spots. Got to move. Uh, Got to mix it really quick. And, and I'm just constantly moving it just so that uh, make sure it's evenly cooking. About a minute, it should be. Should have some time. I'm gonna put the shoe pastry into the bowl. Okay, uh, so my milk, uh, the milk and sugar mixture has started to boil. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, uh, and so I'm going to temper it into my egg yolk mixture. Yeah. Tempering, so I'm only going to pour in about a third of the uh, milk mixture just to kind of heat it up, mix it in with the egg yolk so that when I pour it back into the pan, uh, it's easier to mix, quickly mix, and uh, even cooking is the key here. You want to be constantly whisking at all times. So you're basically making like a custard, is that yeah. right? This is a boiled boiled custard. Mm -hmm. Even for you know three four seconds, uh, the part closest to the bottom is going to cook more than the rest and then you get a very chunky uh, thicken. So like I said, you got to keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking. All right, so now that it's gotten to the stage, we have our butter. Unsalted. Unsalted. Just pop it right in there. Again, we have our uh, vanilla powder, one uh, alcohol free.
And then you're going to mix the butter and the vanilla off heat. And then just mix until uh, it melts and incorporate it into the cream. Yes. Okay. So right now I'm looking at how it uh, runs when I hold it up and kind of like put it back into the dough. You can see it's starting to slow off and um, there's like a ribbon at the end there. It's nice and shiny, so that's right about there. So, like I said, it, it's falling back into the bowl. That, that's we're we're uh, we're there. Uh, so, you see, uh, not only do I have a little bit left, I actually had six eggs in here instead of the five in your recipe. You know, just to just in case I needed a little bit more, I ended up using a little bit more. Uh, you can use a rounded tip. Uh, that's most common, easy to use. Uh, I am actually using a, a French tip, which is like kind of like a close uh, star. It's the one with a lot of teeth. Oh, okay. um, people uh, have recommended using that. Uh, it helps with the rise because again, this is going to puff up, and it's going to have like a little um, a void in the middle, and so that just helps with the shell formation so that you have nice even layerings. And this is the tip, the tip that I am currently using, but you can use a uh, a rounded tip. I just, uh, as an example, did some ones for some cream puffs and then ones for eclairs. Uh, you know, eclairs are just long cream puffs. And then if you have kind of a tip on the top, you can get a little bit of water, pat it down. Otherwise, it'll burn when you try to bake it. So uh, we're going to pop it into the oven. Uh, you're going to go 425 for about 15 minutes. And then we're going, to, after 15 minutes, when it starts to puff up, reduce it down to 375 for another 15. So that's just where you get the puff, and then you can start cooking on the inside. Because if it's moist uh, on the inside, it'll, uh, after you know, about an hour, two hours, it'll actually uh, uh, make, uh, make it softer after a little while, and it won't keep. So I'm going to have some. OK, so Luis is filling his lovely fresh cream puffs straight out of the oven. He's piercing them with a pastry tip. Mm -hmm. And now he is taking his pastry bag filled with a custard filling. He's inserting the tip and he's squeezing until it's full. Uh, we have, um, so the ratio is, um, one cup of heavy cream for 360 grams or about uh, 12 ounces of chocolate. And, um, and, but currently, you know, we're doing just a smaller amount. So we're doing only, you know, about a third of a cup and 113 grams or four ounces of uh, chocolate. Uh, so we're doing a dark chocolate, 62% from Toll House. It's just a simple, easy to use, melts well. The uh, heavy cream has come to a boil, nice and hot. We have our chocolate. All right, so we have our uh, we have our heavy cream. It's come to a boil. Our chocolate chopped. We're just gonna go ahead and pour that over it and kind of shake it, make sure everything gets covered. And we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes. So we're just mixing the chocolate. You see, it's all melted now. They're nice and homogenous. Um, if it gets too slack, it, or not too slack, if it gets too uh, hard, you know, too difficult to work with, you can just put it over a, a, a double boiler. You know, put it over a pot of uh, boiling liquid, liquid water, uh, just to kind of get it nice and usable. You don't want it too hot, you don't want it too cold, just right. So we're just going to dip the eclair real quick. The chocolate is still liquid, nice and warm. Going to hold uh, the sides. Just dip it. Try 
take the tip off and 